take my jacket. Alucard, why have you got such a pure Raj name, man? Because it's my dad's name backwards, mate. <laughs> what, ad? What? If you spell da backwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate. My fucking dad's actual fucking name, you cheeky c <gasps> So, what was my question before we stopped? Uh, is this a real Castlevania or not? Yeah, is this a real Castlevania? Well, is this the kind of game that... James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, who did a massive video about, like, what's the best Castlevania? Yeah. And if you play this game, beat it, and then unlock Richter, then your control scheme is similar to old Castlevania, so you could make an argument that this is a very, very good Castlevania game, but because it's non-linear, a lot of people will say it's not really Castlevania. So, because uh, it's like a a big map and it's open-ended, and we're not we're not using a whip, we're not playing as R Simon Belmont. Or Richter. Yeah, th this is a bit different. Oh my god. So... So you could say that people who are fans of the original Castlevania... Were, they... Weren't too impressed with this. Because it's a cha like such a departure. Okay. Uh, Castlevania 4 is like one that people really like. Just because it's got the whip. But the whip works in 8 directions. And everybody's like, that works. It's really good. Why okay. didn't, they never did it again. Really? For some reason, they just never ever did it again. Probably because it was OP. Yeah, but that game's still really hard, like... We'll go play that sometime and you'll be like, okay. <laughs> I see why I need 8 directional whipping. <laughs> I'm scared, of, I'm scared, Ron. Uh, are we in uncharted territory here? It's a bit uncharted. It's Nathan Drake. <laughs> Please be a save room. One can only hope. Oh god, it doesn't mm. seem like a save room. Looks like the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, bro. Maybe? I'm so afraid. <laughs> There's a gold door! With a goblin oh, head on cut it. Oh, there's cutscenes happening. Can I go- oh I, oh, I remember this room. F*** it's time. Oh boy. Oh, this is such a horrible boss. Why did I do this to myself? An Orlocks. It's the Dark Magician, bro. Hit him with a spell, bro. I'm I'm tr I'm trying so hard to think about life. <laughs> uh, fireballs. Yes. More fireballs. Yeah. You did it. Nice one, bro. Oh. Oh my God. He's got a fight. He's got a final form. No. Aaron. He's got a. Are you fucking? Ron. He's got a fucking Dude. final form. Oh my God. This cannot be. <laughs> This can't be good. He's got lasers. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't go to a save point. Oh no. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, you're doing fine, bro. Oh. Oh boy. I have meteors. Yeah, indeed. Oh my god, he's going full fucking <laughs> strip on me. Got <laughs> Uh, let me pick a slightly less horrible one. He's going full uh, Nagasaki Hiroshima on my ass. Fuck's sake. He's going full pull hard. Oh, come hard on, one. why did I turn around? I didn't mean it. But I'm very out of magic. He does a lot of damage. Oh my god. It's Mr. He's got, he's got a minigun. I'm stuck. What am I to do? What, what am I to do? King hell. <gasps> oh my god. Bro. Oh. Wow. I've never been tested quite like this <laughs> on this on the channel before. He's gotta be done. Is he is he done? He's gotta be he done. He has to be. Get your bones out this room, mate. That was a bit tumultuous, that that was really stressful. Very I was tense. worried. Yeah, I was worried. I was worried that I strayed far off the beaten track and was like it. I'd I'd f the bus, so to speak. No, you're good, bro. It would have been nice if there was a shortcut left from there. Yeah. Find this game. Okay. None for you. I mean, that was a cool little excursion that we went on there. Yeah, I appreciated that. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Fuck my, the clock. My time with the clock is done. I could have really done with a Bible right around then. Would you spare a penny for the church? Would you spare a coin for my penis? <laughs> 
<laughs> the Church of Pangus. We made it back to this horrible tower. Hell yeah, that's about double the distance away that we were. From where we're supposed to be going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we started at that warpy boy. Was, go left, go down and go right. And you went up and we went all the way. <laughs> I'm like, just taking things into my own hands and just totally like not going the way we're supposed completely to completely <laughs> derailed that plan instantly well like, like immediately with no no hesitation no hesitation just went oh, what's up there and just went <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it it's in my nature it's fair it's that dynamite TNT oi I'm dynamite oi TNT and we got the anchor the anchor of life anchor of life <laughs> Sure you can! Sure you can! <laughs> oh. oh, bow and arrow. How's the boomerang single use? Excuse me. It's the one thing that's it supposed to come back. It comes back. Oh dear. What do the Jedi serve their tartar sauce in? I don't know. Ramekin Skywalkers. <laughs> <laughs> Ramekin. Ramekin. Why is ramekin only a word like when you've been in a hospitality restaurant scenario? Like you never like hear about ramekins before then. No, no, I'd, I'd never. It was something you put sauce in. It wasn't a ramekin. It wasn't like. It was a sauce pot. Uh, yeah, a sauce pot. Uh, small bowl. Small perhaps. bowl. Yeah, like I didn't realize that a word. And then one day a chef was like. Can you pass us a bunch of ramekins? And I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that moment where I was like, what are you talking about? What the fuck is a ramekin? What the fuck is a ramekin? I can it, you can it. Patsy fing kens it. <laughs> Who is Pans Patsy kens it? I don't know. Let's find out. Is Patsy kens it something to do with fing Emmerdale? Coronation Street. Who? The other one. Is Patsy. Kenza. That's Patsy Kenza. Right. Patsy Kenza is an English actress and singer best known for as the front woman of the 1980s pop group 80s Wonder. Oh, she's a musician. This changes everything. Beginning her childhood as an acting child, a career as an acting child, including in the Rod Steiger film Hennessy, Kenza gained attention when she acted in a string of commercials for bird's eye frozen peas. <laughs> she's a she's a frozen pea lass. She's a bird's eye lass, like. Uh, then she went on to appear in films such as The Great Gatsby, 74. Damn. Gold, also in 74. Damn. Alfie Darling, 75. The Bluebird, 76. And Hanover Street, 79. Well, so she's from the time period where people were talented at stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Balancing a dual career as both an actress and a singer, in 83, Kenzit formed and became the lead singer of the pop band Eighth Wonder. The group released several successful singles, including I'm Not Scared and Cross My Heart, before disbanding in 89. Uh, hold on. It goes on. Kenza achieved further success in her breakthrough role as Suzette in the musical film Absolute Beginners in 86 and as Rika van den Haas in Lethal Weapon 2, 89. That's like a real film. She's got diplomatic immunity. Diplomatic immunity? Yeah, because she was in Lethal Weapon 2. I've once again went off the beaten track. You just f***ing... <laughs> been chatting in, about I'm Patsy in, Kenza. I'm in the clock room and now I'm getting more stuff. While we're chatting about Patsy Kenza. Uh... So in Scotland... So hold on, right, right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Patsy Kensett played the role of Sadie King in the ITV soap opera Emmerdale. Oh my god, I was right! And she then is from a soap. that of Faye Morton on the BBC One medical drama, Whole BC. Damn. She also played oh Emma god. Harding in EastEnders. <laughs> hey, hey, check this out. Whoa. We have, a, we have a big boy jump now. Damn. Is that how you're going to rock it up the librarian's arse? Yeah, man. Nice. Then I'd have to use another library card and go all the way back there, and I'm not sure I'm like prepared to do that mentally because I'm very close to where we need to be going. Yeah, no, 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 keep going where we're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there you go. That there you go, people and Muzz. That's that's who Patsy Kenza is. I feel like I've learned something and nothing all at the same time. Yeah. She was in a bunch of films in the seventies and eighties. You just like, you do you, like phone phone your mum and be like. Who the f is Patsy Kenza and why are we talking about her? 
Well, it's because you can it and I can it and Patsy cans it. Yeah. Because that is some pished patter. The question is, is it like pizza or Chinese? <laughs> that is always the question. Because like, there's nothing else around here that we can get. Well, there's the Indian. If the ta oh, you've got a car. I do have a car. Oh man. No, we can't go to the Grace of India. Indian. No, but we could go to the Thai. Oh, we could go to the Thai. It's been so long since I've had a Thai. The Thai's pretty good. Is it open tonight? Of course yeah, it is. It's, it's Friday, Friday night. night. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. And but then that involves leaving the house. Good. It does involve leaving the house. But I'd do it for a Thai. It's your step one working the night. Yeah. Damn, bro. I've made it. I've made it. You did it. We're at the place we're supposed to be going. Excellent. 